Hello, welcome to the App Codes channel on YouTube. Today we're going to take a look at displaying a separate view when the user changes the orientation of a device. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to fire up Xcode. And basically, when the device changes its orientation, we want to display. Um, a different view. It's going to be the, basically the same elements in the view, but because the device is being displayed in a different orientation, we want to kind of reorder the elements that, and how they get displayed. Anyway, I'm going to start with a view-based application. You'll understand when we get going here. I'm going to name it Orientation Tutorial. Just going to add it to my source control there. Okay, and the first thing we're going to start with is we want to open up our nib file here, and you'll see that our nib file has one view associated with it. Well, we are going to add a second view, and it's going to use the same nib file and the same view controller, so we don't have to duplicate those but it's just a separate view. And just to keep things tidy and so we can keep track of things here, go ahead and name them. This doesn't really, uh, this is really just for ourselves. It doesn't change anything else. So I named them there. This is our portrait view. This is our landscape view. And in the landscape view, we wanna go under the inspector here and we're gonna change it to landscape. We're going to add a gray status bar, just like the portrait view has. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add some buttons to these views. So let me go ahead and add a button here. I'm just going to name that button number one. And then I'm going to hold down the option key and oops, try again. Hold down the option key, and drag to copy that button. Name it two, select both buttons, hold down the option key, and drag to make some more. Go ahead and name these real fast. Now the reason I'm using buttons here is because it just kind of uh, demonstrates that in the portrait view, your buttons would probably be laid out a little differently than in the landscape view. So let me go ahead and select all of these. Put on the option key again, and then I'm gonna drag them over to, over to our landscape view. And here, our buttons, we'd use the same buttons as a portrait view, but they'd be laid out a little bit differently just because of the orientation of the uh, device. So we could probably lay it out a little bit more like that. Okay, I'm going to save both of those and we're going to go into our header file and we're going to declare IB outlets for those two views. So let's do property, non atomic, retain, IB outlet, UI view. We'll name this one. Portrait view. And go back and do the same thing here again. Another ID outlet. UI view. And this one we will name landscape view. Just like that. Okay, now before we forget, let's go back to our nib file and let's hook up those outlets. Just by dragging from landscape to landscape, portrait to portrait. Okay, so our interfaces are all set up. Now we need to synthesize those UI view variables that we just created portrait view, and the landscape view, get those synthesized. Now, if you look down here at the bottom of our implementation file, you see this method is already available to us, should auto-rotate to interface orientation. 
And that just is a method that gets called when the orientation changes, or when the device changes orientation. And here you can specify which orientations you want to handle. I'm just going to return yes, which means we're going to handle all orientation changes. Okay. Uncomment our view to load method because in here we're going to set up for the device to fire off the orientation change notifications and to listen for them. I have some code here I'm going to copy and paste in there because you don't need to watch me type it out. But you see here we make our device the current device, whichever one we're using here, and it's going to start or begin generating notifications when the orientation changes. And then here we tell our device, which is self, that's us, we tell it to start listening for the orientation notifications. And the name of that notification is UI device orientation did change notification. So we're going to be listening for that notification and when it happens we're going to call this method right there. And that method is one that we will have to implement ourselves which I'm going to do here. Again, I'm just going to whoops, copy and paste some code here. You don't have to watch me type it out. So we declare a UI interface orientation variable from our object. And then we have a couple if blocks that are checking that interface orientation and which orientation it is. So here we're saying, is the orientation portrait? or is it portrait upside down? And if so, display the portrait view. And in the next diff block, we check to see if it's landscape left or landscape right. And if so, let's display the landscape view. So really, it's just as easy as that. Now, uh, there is another orientation that I'm not handling here, and it's like a face-up orientation. It's as if the device is laying on the table. And to be thorough, we should probably handle that too, but I'm not going to do it right here because um, I'm just trying to show you how you can switch the view depending on the orientation. But in your programs, they could trip you up if you don't check for it. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and run this and see if I've forgotten anything. And if not, it should work right off the bat here. So far, so good. Here is our portrait view. And now I'm going to change the orientation of, of the device. And in Simulator, you can do that by holding down the Command key and using the arrow keys. And what I do changes the orientation. And you see it displayed our other view with our buttons laid out in three across instead of two across, like in the portrait view. So. That's how you can display a separate view without having to do duplicate nib files and view controllers, but using two views and display the appropriate one when the orientation of the device changes. Um, I hope you found this helpful. As always, please come visit me at theappcodeblog.com where you find a lot more tutorials. And until next time, have a great day.